Should, should I do that again? Nah, leave it. All right. What is up, Emma Academy Project members? I know we haven't shot a video for a while and that you've missed my grizzly face. And here it is. Um, it's day 29 of the campaign. Uh, we are broadcasting not from headquarters and not from Austin, Texas. We are broadcasting from London in the UK. If you recognize that little painting back there um, from other videos, they are posted from Emmanuel's. We're actually in Emmanuel's house. We're chilling at his house. He's not here. He's in Kenya, but we are broadcasting from Emmanuel's crib in London in the UK. All right, so... Um, Lots to talk about, lots to talk about. We had uh, our video updates, number one. Okay, so we haven't done one in about a week. At first, we had a couple of technical glitches with Viddler and something, we couldn't upload the videos, and then we said, you know what, why don't we lay back for a week, regroup and figure out exactly a direction to go in. So now, we're deciding to, we're gonna, we're gonna do three video updates a week, one on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll continue doing those. Um, basically, I was getting bored with the, look at my own face on camera. And so was Melissa. Melissa told me that she didn't want me on camera anymore because I was making a fool of myself. Not true. But I said, give me three days a week to make a fool of myself and <laughs> I'll be happy. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so three days a week we're gonna do our video updates. Second item, the winner of the t-shirt design contest, the first ever crowdsource challenge t-shirt design contest sponsored by David Cabanban at ZOZ Foundation, ZOZ.org. ZOZ.org, right? ZOZ.org. ZOZ.org, check out those guys, those guys are great. The winner is, drum roll please, <laughs> boom, Gemma from Spain. Gemma wins. Uh, a lot of you probably saw her design. She uploaded them to the media page. It is off the hook. I want to wear them and I'm not a female, but I might be caught wearing one of those shirts because they're so slick. Gemma, I know you're in, uh, Gemma's an industrial engineer. This is what I learned. She's an industrial engineer. And I believe she, I know she's from Spain. I'm not sure if she, I think she works in Spain as well. I mean, it's sick. She works in car and car systems and, and engineering and all that. But wow, what a design. And, and she looked like a model in those pictures, didn't she? She did. She sent us the, she sent us the pictures, it's like, I designed it, I model it, I do the whole thing. So they're beautiful. <laughs> um, actually, Gemma, if you do see this video update, if not, I'm gonna hook up with you anyway. Please email me directly because I, we wanted to talk to you about your design and how great it was and some stuff we wanna do with it. You are the winner. David Kabambam will be donating $100 in your name to the Emma Academy Project, and I will pay for whatever the cost it was to create those shirts. You let me know and I'll create them and, and those are your shirts uh, to keep, obviously. Um, okay, issue number three, the eBay page. We, we, we've created an eBay page for the M Academy project and what we're deciding to do is um, for everybody who doesn't have money, they can donate their stuff. So we need somebody, basically at this point, it's getting to the point where we have so much volume of things to take care of. Our small little team, our stall, remember bootstrap and bootleg? Our small little team can't handle it all. So in the true crowdsourcing creativity component, we're putting it out to you. We have an eBay page, we have a great idea um, from Tracy in the UK to create an eBay page where people can put on their stuff and donate, but we need somebody to be the point person. If you're in college, it could be an internship credit and you could be the director of our eBay, blah, 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 blah. Um, and if you're not in college, then uh, you could just volunteer. It'd be super cool. So if anybody wants to help out on that component, you would be the point person on this. You'd have to contact me directly. I'd call you, we'd have a little chat, and we'd figure out exactly how it would work. Okay, fourth item of the day. Our new crowdsource challenge. We have a new crowdsource challenge um, sponsored by Kathleen McGowan, who is a New York Times best-selling author. Her works have been translated in numerous languages. Uh, in this message, I'm gonna post her URL so you can actually check out her, her webpage, but she has written several books and New York Times best-selling author. She contacted us because she wanted to sponsor the second crowdsource challenge which is going to be $500 she's gonna donate directly to the Emma Academy Project campaign in the name of the winner. <laughs> and the winner is, this is the contest, it is a creative writing contest. You have to tell us why you are involved in the Emma Academy campaign, why you are passionate either about Sudan, about the story of, of Emmanuel Jal, and why you wanna be part of this campaign to build this school for these kids. You have to articulate that in 300 words or less, but it can be poetry, it can be short story, it can be haiku, 
That's what I'm going to do. Because that's how I throw down the haiku. I just, bah, throw it down. Um, you know, it could be a rap. It could be whatever the heck you want. But you got 300 words, and we're going to take all the submissions, email them directly at aj at emmaacademyproject.com. We're going to throw them to Kathleen. She's going to pick the, the best few. We're going to put them up on the page. They're going to get voted on, and then whoever's the best one, we're going to post it on the page, and they will be the winner. So you're going to get posted on our Facebook, Twitter, Everywhere we have any social media outlets, your winning essay will get posted and $500 will be donated in your name to the Emma Academy Project campaign by Kathleen McGowan. She is awesome. You rock. All right. Uh, shout outs. Shout out. Donation shout out going to none other than my boy, Mike from New Orleans, dude. Three donations. This kid, three times he donated. I'm beginning to think that he's just stealing from people. The mic's out there stealing from banks and donating. Now, I don't know what he's doing. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, Mike, you rock, man. You are awesome. You are the first person to donate three times to this campaign. And the, the, what you're doing is literally, in a, in a literal sense, putting kids in school in the Sudan. That's a big deal. Our random shout out goes to everybody. Everybody, all our members deserve us uh, as the year comes to a close we have been around for 29 days we have over 2,000 members to my knowledge and I'm in the social media space a lot for, for for a campaign that never existed before we had no notoriety we had nothing there was nothing that existed so from 0 to 29 days we've grown over 2,000 members we've got we've we've raised thousands and thousands of dollars of donations and we've gotten a lot of no notoriety and awareness it's not because of me because you guys all see me on video and i'm not that smart and i'm not that creative it's not because of uh, melissa it's not because of anybody of, of our headquarters it's not even because of y'all it is because of you and your passion and your desire to build this school for these kids this is not our campaign it's not some top down it is about you and we appreciate everybody who's on our page talking back and forth. All you guys, you know who you are. They give yourselves to this. We appreciate it. And um, and that's it. So that's the random shout out for the day. Other than that, we will be sh we will be shooting again on Wednesday. So be looking forward to my face <laughs> on Wednesday. And that's it. And we'll be shooting from London again. Hopefully on the road somewhere. Um, all right, guys. Peace out until Wednesday. Thank you very much for all the hard work. Roll it out.